Uh, yeah, thanks for inviting me. I was going to say that, uh, I mean, it's really interesting to hear from Laura. I mean, it's always interesting to hear that, you know, the perspective of um, a school leader. I think the thing I would say that I don't think should like be a debate is that I personally think all schools should do some sort of assembly or messaging on this. And I disagree that it's um, tokenistic. I wouldn't say it is at all, even though I completely understand, you know, where Laura's coming from by saying that. Like, it is really easy to just, you know, kind of mention something once and then do nothing or for nothing to happen. I, I totally get that. And I think that does unfortunately happen a lot. But I think in this case, it's really important for all children to feel safe in school and to know that their schools care about them. And also, which of course, obviously, I know that they do, but I feel like children need to hear it and need that reminder, especially because they'll be coming back from such a long school holiday. And also, if you look at um, prevent referrals, um, of all age groups in the country, the most common age for referrals is 15 to 20 years old. And then the second most common age group for referrals is 11 to 14. So basically, and 90% and of prevent referrals are for boys. So basically, that impacts you know, children in school the most. And so I think it's especially important. And like you both, Tom and Laura, both, you know, quite rightly pointed out, a lot of children will be on things like TikTok and looking at videos. And actually, um, you know, a lot of children can become, there, there's probably a lot of children who didn't have any views on this, but now will come across messaging that's really wrong. And, you know, I feel like that's yet another reason why it's really important for schools to address this.